I think kids do a great job of seeing things from the animal's perspective and understanding on a basic level what it is that the animals need and being able to think creatively about solutions to these problems might be a way that they can um, be successful in the activity. I think every human being is really good at solving problems. It's a skill that we should nurture. Uh, all of us, I mean, it's, when we go out into the garden or we, we go outside in the park, I mean, we can always solve problems. We keep solving, everybody solves problems every single day. But it's the imagination. I mean, many of uh, us adults, we, we sometimes, we're so uh, unimaginable. We don't lose our imagination, by the way. It's still there somewhere. When you haven't been inside the box for as long as some grown-ups have been, um, sort of tackling ideas that um, and bring in what might appear outlandish to someone who's been in the industry for so long and then make them take a step back and say, oh no, wait a second, like, that, that might just work. Like, I wouldn't even have thought about that. Um, is definitely sort of like a fresh viewpoint, a different angle. So I'd be really excited to see what, what kids are able to come up with for some of the, the problems that we tackle. They haven't had all the limitations and restrictions that we are used to as adults, that they just think uh, and act uh, at the same time. They don't uh, uh, look at all the things that can go wrong. They just do as they uh, think in initially and that creates a lot of creativity and activity and uh, I love to see that in kids. Congratulations to your team for taking on this challenge. I'm sure you're going to have an amazing and exciting time and I wish you the best of luck. <laughs>